hello and welcome back to my kitchen if you are new you are very welcome how to make the tastiest puff puff mikate beignet the easy way that's what we are going to make today in the bowl i go two cups of self-rising flour I add one teaspoon of salt, mix it. I add half a cup of instant mashed potato, half a cup of granulated sugar, one tablespoon of dry instant yeast. Just mix it all together. Then I'm gonna be using two bags of vanilla with sugar if you don't have it you can use vanilla extract or vanilla essence with that use two tablespoon two teaspoon of vanilla essence it depends how you like your vanilla flavor in your baking you make a hole in the middle of your flour you need to start gradually I'm using warm water you need to pour your water gradually until you reach the texture that we are looking for and now i'm going to use a second cup but i didn't use all all of the water i ended up i ended up using one and a half cup of warm water so here i wanted to say if you don't have a measurement cup what you can do you can use anything that you have at home that means if you you want to use a mug you want to use a glass anything that you want to use two of the thing and one and a half of warm water of that thing that you're going to use a mug or glass a plastic cup just to use two of it with flour and one and a half of water here we are looking for the that consistency the texture you need to make sure to put your water gradually why because you don't want you mix it to be runny too soft it's not gonna be nice when you're not gonna be able to make your puff puff properly because it's gonna be too runny I end up using one and a half Yeah, I'm going to cover with aluminium foil just to help my mixer to double in size. If you don't have an aluminium foil, you can use a bean bag, a clean one. Bean bag you can cover. You can cover with a clean cloth and then put something that is not gonna get, you don't want your mixer to, to get air inside you can see here i'm going to cover with a clean cloth to leave it in a room temperature for 25 30 to 45 minutes until it doubled it doubled in size here we have it you see our better is double in size I'm just mixing to get the air out of it because if you don't do that when you make your puff puff you will see you open your puff puff after making it there's no flour inside it's only like it goes all saggy so I'm gonna be using my hands that's why you see the pot, that bowl of water but if you don't want your hand to get messy you can use oil and any spoon that I show you it was a ice cream scoop 
but if no you can use any spoon if you don't want your hand to get messy but I'm using my hand and here I go my bowl and tissue to get the excess oil from the um, puff puff and I got a spoon that I'm gonna use to scoop it out of the oil there you go I always dip your hands in the water so that the mix them all stick in your hand just have those white size to go golden brown that's the color we are after golden brown but if you want it more brown you can leave it for longer here i'm gonna be using a spoon i ended up using a measurement tablespoon because i find it e not easy but that's the size I want it in my pop off so if you are you like your pop off to be bigger than this size you can use the ice cream scoop like I said if you don't have an ice cream scoop you can use any spoon it depends how you like your pop off I like my pop off to be not too big so that's why I'm using this spoon you always dip it in oil and I say that oil is no hot, it's a room temperature oil, no more oil. There we have it. It's like I'm using my hand. You don't have to get your hand messy for you to do your puff puff. Just turn it around, have those who don't want to swim on the tummy, swim on the tummy to get a golden brown all around your pop off. And here we have it, our puff puff. You can eat it with peanut, go peanut butter and chili sauce you can use it you can eat it with anything 